you are interested in the build I used in this video, you can find that in the end of the video. If not, you can always find it earlier on patreon.com slash bits. I should have done, done can of food. Hopefully recovery link works here. That's exactly what I want for the eye tracker, man. So my second PvP build, it's an updated version of the Skull Glove aka High End build. So yeah, let's go through it. So you can see it's pretty similar as before, but this time we're using two classified gear sets here to get higher stats, right? Because the classified can roll up to 1400 main stat and that's pretty good, pretty good. So just to make sure that you don't fuck this up you need to have one dead eye one long star like you cannot have a two long star or two dead eye or two final measure make sure it's two different set otherwise you will screw up the skull gloves and you need that 16 percent damage because that's why this build is so good a lot of utility and really good damage yes i'm using a barrier chest now actually because this is a solo build you could, if you like, use a Vigorous and don't then go Booster, but I'm trying Barret now. And I'm using Health, obviously, and Skill Haste. Like, unless it's a 1v1 build, there's... Like, you should go Skill Haste. You don't need a little extra health you get. Getting the Skill Haste is just so much more valuable. But yeah, Skill Haste here. We got Firearms and Electronics. Every mod with the Skill Haste here. Playing a uh, refresh masked, which is one of my favorite items. It's really good. Increase your healing by 30%. Med kits, recovery link, first aid. As long as you heal in the last segments, which you should do. So you can proc critical save, right? And then get a bigger heal. Burn res, skill haste. I think I had this mask for quite some time. If you don't like refresh, you could use tenacious. You could use Rehab if you like that. But I'm going with Refresh. So instead of Shortbow Knee Pads, I'm going a Longstar Classified. Because I think Shortbow Knee Pads are just so fucking stupid. Like they should just get removed from PvP. Like having 0.2 fuse time with nades that are that easy to toss. And with that many nades, it's just really dumb. It shouldn't be in PvP, right? So yeah, I'm using uh, Classified here. Health, Shock, Blind. Biggest thing here is the armor and the main stat and get health. I try to get the right miner as well. If possible. Specialized backpack. <clears throat> this is actually pretty pretty low roll huh, compared to the rest. But yeah, health, firearms, van res. Using first aid self heal on everything as well to improve my heal. Then we have skull gloves with firearms, assault rifle damage, critical hit damage, and skill haste. 
and yeah as long when, when you're playing by yourself solo you should always go skill ace like skill ace is one of the if not the best stat in the game getting like that little crit chance it's not worth it like you will have more than enough damage i mean if you feel like you need more damage then sure go crit chance but i prefer having more survivability if i can choose between survivability and damage i will choose survivability like that's the reason why a lot of times I can go against multiple people because I have so much skill haste and you strike back in triage and all that and that adds up to even shorter cooldowns which is crazy like sometimes with the, the free attack for example when I have 50 skill haste I can get my booster back in like I don't know 5-10 seconds so yeah go skill haste skill haste here as well with a classified dead eye just make sure you have like High, high stats here and high armor skill haste the armor was definitely not the best but hey I had like a launcher with 1000 armor here which I can't use I can reroll this twice but it got health but yeah not the best armor but it's fine so I have two different LVAs been playing with this actually brutal competent responsive and modded it fully headshot damage just for fun and it's actually been really fun to play that. But that's nothing I would really suggest. Like headshots are pretty damn bad in this game. But still like to like go full headshot and just aim for head. It's just more fun to me. And like when you connect you can do some pretty nasty damage. Second one responsive component unforgiving. I'm not running adept with this build. I'm trying a bit without adept. If you would play this in a group though, I would definitely not play Unforgiving, like swap to Adept and like easy to keep stacks up. But for this skill list, I think I have 38 on this, it's pretty hard to keep up Adept, like you're not gonna keep the 5 stacks all day as you can with Tactician. It is possible to keep Adept up if you can get Strike back and stuff like that, but you're not gonna have 5 times all the time. Which is kinda the point with Adept. Go to character sheet, see the main stats, crit chance, so fucking low. I guess this is my headshot gun, which I'm trying a bit. Even though I know headshots are bad, it's fun to play it. Like, I mean, this may seem decent, 123 headshot damage, even though it's like super low compared to before. Back in the day, you had 200 to 300% headshot damage on AR and LMG. But the thing is, though, in PvE, this is gonna get multiplied by 0.8. So it's gonna be even less in PvP, right? In PvE it's the same, which doesn't make any sense. Because in PvE it's super easy to hit headshots, in PvP it's way harder because people just fucking move like chickens, right? So I don't know why they have a um, modifier that lowers the headshot damage. Doesn't make sense to me. Like even if it would be one, it would still be pretty bad. Like lower than it should be in a shooter, right? But yeah. Nothing too special here. 38 skill is on 2% off. Which I'm quite a bit annoyed with. I think it's the skull gloves only got 7% skill is instead of 9. Not the biggest deal though, especially when I'm not playing Adept. But yeah, we go into skills. Recover link. Using overdose. Because it heals way more. If you play in group, I would just swap the Barret to uh I would just swap the Barret to a vigorous chest and play booster. Because overdose is nice when you play by yourself. 200 k for your self heal, 94 for ally. But that's it, 94k to the ally, right? You shake booster, it's 100 k ally and 120k self heal. And on top of that, giving the buff as well. So I would suggest using booster in group instead. As long as you can have vigorous, right? Scrambler pulse. Combat medic for group, strike back. Triage on the move, like nothing special there. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. So it's a really good damage build. With some utility as well. 
Just an updated version of like 1.6 skull, skull gloves build, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed and take care. I mean, it's all about crit damage. I mean, Adept is super strong. Oh shit, dude, I was fucking chilling. Give me a heads up at least, dude. Let me scratch. So they are behind me, right? Oh, that's Taylor, dude. Is he, is he playing PC? I thought it was console. I'm getting so many assists, man. You see, when I hit body there, I do barely any damage because it's all about headshot damage on that gun. But when I hit headshots, it's a lot of damage. It's a dead eye in the back, huh? It's time to run, dude. Why do I have such a good team, man? I don't like dominating, you know? That's why I queue solo, because I want the games to be, like, somewhat even. Fucking Taylor, you cheesing with that dead eye, dude? I'm gonna be savage, look at this. <laughs> Savage. No, I misclicked.
See, you don't need shock to it. You don't need short bow. He's fucking tossing it. That's a weak heal, dude. <laughs> Fuck, almost. Let's do some uh, objective gaming, man. I need a medkit. Medkit? Taking the other one. Can you rest him? Good. <laughs> no, I don't rest either. I need to run to the Dark Zone 6 thing. Because they're capping that point booster. my streak <sighs> fucking needs me I just want to see if he raised me if I actually get uh, the streak fuck I thought the other teammate would raise Because I wanted to get there because they were taking this. They're still taking it. Yeah, see, they got it. That's why I didn't rush. Because I wanted to get there so they wouldn't get it. Now they got it though. Yeah, I mean, if you go, yeah, exactly. When you go down once, you lose it. I don't know if it's in my head or if the silencer is better, I don't know, it just feels easier to, to control. Oh, that was bad, shouldn't be dead, it's four guys. Do we have a recovery? No, we don't. I may have overextended a little bit there, just a little bit.
taking so much damage. I know what I was what I was doing there though. We're like too much in the open. He got a really strong fucking heal. Like how? I don't know, dude. Aren't I behind it? Oh, it's pretty evil. <laughs> what happened with the melting, dude? Look at the team, dude. I thought I got him! And he got a bullfrog. And I'm getting staggered all day. God damn it. Fucking mob, dude. Well, sometimes you gotta go for the death streak as well, okay? I'm just running into way too many players now. Yeah, it's high end build. Go and check my YouTube channel, I uploaded what I think is one of the best PvP builds. For 1.7. Okay, let's do some crit damage instead, dude. Get wrecked. The tackling though. Yeah, that was a good tackling. Why do I run in in the whole team? AFK Taylor I 
Alright, rest him. Rest him. Come on, rest him. Damn, I'm getting some crazy heals, dude. Okay, this time I got you, dude. Why do I run away? Like, it's all about that thing, to be honest. Sub on from giveaway, yeah. I lowered it, it was 210, but then we dropped like 10 subs in one day. Got 48 kills, still. So, I mean, I had like five minutes where we're just dying all the time. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do like my content and want to support financially, you can check out my Patreon. And if that's not enough, you can find me streaming daily on twitch.tv/wids. Have a nice day.